Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder. And today I want to talk about something that's not even new. And that's Mewtwo. Ever since I can remember this game, Mewtwo has been irrelevant to the game. Now, as you know, I'm, I'm not steeped in Pokemon lore, but from what I understand, Mewtwo is one of the strongest legendary Pokemon in the game. And when it only had a 70 attack, and it had this nice purple, but it had this awful blue. And if you don't remember, Annihilate was a blue wheel slice, so it took priority over everything. It would just shoot you all the way back to the bench, and then you've got to start over. And 70 attack, I guess, in the early days of global release, was competitive-ish. But it quickly fell out of favor, and now 70 is, like... 70 is Vicabolt's off attack. So that kind of gives you an idea of the weakness of this Pokemon. And for as long as I can remember, people have been crying out, when is the Mewtwo buff? With the most recent update, Mewtwo got a buff. But the question was, was the buff enough? I, I didn't even know that that was going to rhyme, but it did. If we look at Mewtwo's wheel today, and I've got this at level four, it has, what is that? Like it's 32 at, at level zero. It's 32 psychic shove, a two star purple. The battle opponent is knocked back as far as possible in a straight line. Any Pokemon it collides with are also knocked back and all affected Pokemon gain weight. Annihilate doubled in size. It used to be eight. It moved to 16, but it turned into kind of teleport that's blue, if you will. It's not optional like Sceptile's blue. And it's kind of like Rainbow Wing or teleport where it's not optional. You have to do it, but you can move two steps away. 40 wheel slice of psycho cut which is still 70 damage and a lot of people have said that's not good enough but it's similar to malmar or grovile where if it spins again you get plus 50 and then at level five you're going to have a four miss section so it starts off at an eight miss but is this good enough that's what i'm going to find out today i my personal opinion is yes it's good enough I'm still trying to figure out we've I'm trying to figure out a deck and I'm messing around with a whole lot of different creations. We've gotten a lot of new viable Pokemon in the last six weeks or so. And um, it makes it really difficult to find out like I've got my tropical deck, which has months of resources put into it. And so those Pokemon are still really strong, but I don't know that they're necessarily the best Pokemon anymore. So I'm trying to trying to incorporate some new things. This here is a deck that I just kind of threw together. I'm testing it out. I did use mats to buy a, a Solga, Solga Leo. I don't know if it's worth it, honestly, but um, this isn't a video about him. He's just in this deck because I mostly want to try out this deck. Let me, let me go over my plates here. Hold on. This is about to get ugly on me, though. Um, we're going to use you as a goalie. I've got double chance, switch, scoop up, long throw, goal block, and steal energy. I don't necessarily want to do that. I don't really fear a gold attack. So we'll go here. I could have just triggered my steel energy. And if this deck is successful, maybe I'll go into more 
of the, the creation of this deck. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just testing it out. I've been using Mewtwo in all my different deck creations because I, I think it's good. Its ability to throw Pokemon completely out of the way is totally game changing. It can single handedly win you games. I'm going to lose that roll. All I needed him to do was roll his dodge, and he could not come through with that. Let's see what happens here. Perfect. You need to go away. <laughs> now, I'm... I don't know. I have not used Heatran against Mega Gengar. Can I go back to the bench? Okay, so I can go back to the bench. So burning him would have been perfect there. Just didn't have, well, he dodged anyways, but it would have worked. I could have burned him. So we're just going to try that again. Activate. It takes so long to use Heatran. Nice, nice. Definitely okay with that. Now, once he loses his Mega Gengar status, you know what I messed up there? I should have thrown him right here and then surrounded him. That would have been the better play. I don't use Heatran a lot. Yeah. I'm going to attack here. Because I just knew I was going to roll a miss. I wanted to attack Zapdos because without him attacking me, I have him covered. And that's absolutely going to do disastrous things to my poor Thunder Chicken over there. And I don't want to, but I'm going to anyways. I didn't want to have to. How about that? Because I definitely want to. I can't have Thunder Chicken with half of his wheel as a miss and the other half only 61. That's not going to be really anything. And we will activate again into the corner. Nice, nice. I always... I feel like, and I know this isn't the case, but I feel like every time I'm against a Heatran and they leave him on the bench, this is what he does. He just burns me and burns me constantly, and it's terrible. And I don't feel like it ever happens for me. Does he have... Nope. I'm actually just going to trigger my Steel Energy here, which is actually going to give him a plus 10 on his 120, which makes it 130. My opponent has steel energy as well. Um, I think the better play is actually to back him off and then attack with Thunder Chicken on the next turn. I think that's the better of all my options. Of course, Never mind. I was going to say, now he's getting surrounded, but he's not going to get surrounded. Okay. Because he's he's not going to bring Subtile down, I wouldn't imagine. Now the trick becomes, I need to get a Pokemon, any Pokemon, on one of those entry points. And we will just continue with what has been working here, as long as I don't roll a 70 or miss, we're good. Except now I, my weight carries over. That's interesting. I can't believe I cannot punch my way out of, out of where I'm at here. 
No. That sucks, but I have to have my entry point open. So we are going to double chance. Perfect. Nope, we're good. A lot of people say Blaziken is inconsistent, and I agree. He, for the most part, he is inconsistent. But if you can get him to, to just where he has eight miss, and I don't know, I don't even care if, if that means you're... Cool. Um, if it means that you do level nine or level 10, I don't know that it really matters. But I have... I find him way more, way, way, way more reliable than Deoxys attack form ever. Now, with that being said, I've never used a Deoxys attack form at level 10, where it's Psycho Boost, I think is the move, is at its fullest potential. So for full disclosure, and Heatran is gonna get surrounded. And that's okay, because then I'm going to move Entai up and attack Coco with it, actually. Oh. I didn't even look at his plates. I guess I should. I just don't care. <laughs> How about that? I should look at his plates, but I just don't care. Let's see. What's he running? Double chance, goal block, steel energy. Yeah, I still don't care. Now, what do I want to do? I think... Well, I know what I have to do. I can't let Verizian have a free swipe at my goalie, who's all white. That would be asking for trouble. So, I think... I think my best bet is to just run Kobaling up here. I imagine he'll bring Coco down. Nope. All right. We will keep marching forward. Doing all right on time here. And Zapdos does not help him in any way, shape, or form. Okay, we got a dodge. I don't know what Zapdos function is there. And actually, depending on what he does here, I'm going to attack with Blaziken on my next turn. I've already used my double chance. Okay. I'm interested to see what happens if I land Psycho Kick into his 100 move. Didn't happen. Don't have to worry about it. We will keep pressing on. What do I have left? Switch long throw goal block. I don't know what my opponent does here, quite honestly. Okay. That was definitely one way to go. I'm going to come out here and attack. Really not fearful of Zapdos with Cobalion. Let's see where he wants to put his Gengar. Then I'm going to take the entry point here and get surrounded by Coco here. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Did not even think that through until it was too late. And then we're going to roll miss. Awesome. That was about as terribly played 
two turns that you can come up with. Pretty, pretty poorly played. And we will take Hatred out. That was really bad. Like really, really, really bad. And I will say that Mewtwo is, is not great against Zapdos, but it's not as bad of a matchup as it might seem. Now, why didn't he surround? Two questions. Why am I playing so poorly? And why didn't he just surround there? Hmm. Because Gengar is, and I'm going to talk trash about his Gengar, but I'm not scared of it in any way, shape, or form. Why would he move him down? Well, maybe he's just playing a little bit worse than I am. Just difficult to do. And this is the, the problem that you will find with Mewtwo if you're running him. Is it is it is kind of difficult to get him in a position where he can that sucks. Where he can use Psycho Shove. Because if an opponent is on any like there's so many corners that if he's on there then you can't do anything about it. Like it, pushing them, they don't move. And I don't know how the board is. I see how the board looks, but that's not really how the board is. Because some places they will slide and other places they won't. This should be a good matchup unless I roll dodge all day. Okay, good. I rolled. I thought I rolled miss. Um. But what you want to do with Mewtwo is get him on one of these corners or right there and then just push this whole back line across. That's the ultimate goal that you're going for. Okay. My guess is he wants to hop over. I wish he'd just roll his 30. No. We're not that lucky. And what does he have here? Gold block is all he has left. And I have switch and gold block. You know what? I really just don't even mind that he did that. He did that. Tell you the truth. Let's see what he wants to do. Okay. And he has his gold block. So I'm going to slide up here. I'm hoping that he goal blocks. That would be ideal. Okay. I'm okay with that. So here you go, Mewtwo. Here is your chance to shine. I would have preferred... to. Damn, that sucks. I would have preferred to save my... I'm probably going to lose now. I wanted to save my double chance, and if at all possible, I save my double chance to go for the win. Unfortunately, my Pokemon were garbage. And you know what? If I don't knock him, if he rolls blue, it's game over. If he takes a Sceptile and rolls blue on him, it's game over. Like, there's a, there's a lot of bad, but you're pinned back and I'll be honest I haven't played this one very well I completely botched when I had a huge advantage up there in the corner and that's gonna be game so that is how you lose to a 2900 player is well, okay and that's maybe why he's a 2900 player because I don't, I don't, oh, he couldn't hop over. That's right. He could not hop over because of the, the, he has that ability. I talked about it in yesterday's video. I haven't used 
Like my, this guy's level one. I haven't used him except for really in this deck or when I've just tried out a couple things. Perfect. I can definitely live with that because that's going to knock us both out. But cool. Because <laughs> that gets him off my entry point. I've got a lot of work to do. A, a, I've got to play better. Like, first and foremost, I've got to play better. B, why didn't he... Oh, well. A, I've got to play better. And B, I'm just glad I'm not going against a better opponent. And C, see if we can't knock him out. No. Oh, wait. Thank you, Koba. I don't know why he's not attacking with Frisian. So I guess my next play, assuming I have an and I do have a next play, is we need to get Frisian burned or or dead, and burned works. Okay. Now, I think we should move Koba over to here. Since you are paralyzed. We'll just, we're just going to keep attacking. And this has been a really lackluster game. I wish, uh, wish Mewtwo would have really... Which Mewtwo would have shined in his video. And he still has a chance to. Maybe maybe Blaziken can drop a couple of uh, clutch knockouts here. We will go for the first one here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And I know I only have to stall my opponent, but I can't stall him for 52 seconds. All right, so I guess we go blaze again here. There's one. Now I really, really, really need Blaziken to knock out Zapdos on one turn here, as to not give Sceptile the chance to set up to be in a position to take over my entry point when I vacate the spot. And scratch all of that because now I've got to waste time defending my goal. She's going to give a septile chance to come out. Really need you. No. Oi. Uh, well, here's the thing. I should have lost a long time ago. My opponent. Well, no, I, he, he, I keep forgetting he couldn't jump over. So here you go. I absolutely hate Koba because it rolls dodge all the... Well, and there you go. I think my opponent's probably good enough to figure out how to win this time. So there you go. Really bad game. I could have played this whole scenario up here infinitely different. Um when I had him on the ropes and I let him off the ropes and then I rolled a miss here and a miss there and a miss there uh, and the alt attack there and then gold into purple there and that's how you lose so there you go despite the video where I hate that quite honestly it's so annoying Pokemon Duel, if you guys are watching, quit popping up the screen after people have already logged in. Like, when you first log in and there's new stuff, pop up the screen. After that, quit popping up the screen. I don't need to see it every day. I know it's there. Deal? Cool. Anyway, what I was saying, despite Mewtwo not coming through on the only opportunity I gave him, 
mostly because I played horribly. I still think it's a good Pokemon. That may be more a product of this deck. Again, I'm just testing out a deck. I actually don't like Cobalion, but I'm at the point where if the blue doesn't move me somewhere, I don't want any blue on my wheels. Yeah, they're great when you're on defense, but you can't always be defensive with Pokemon. And with Koba, basically the only time I'm attacking, I really need it to land an attack. I don't want it to roll blue. So there you go. That is going to do it for today's video. Head over to my Discord. You know, I read the comments on the YouTube videos and I will, I will comment on them sometimes. But if you really want me to see your comment and answer, go over to my Discord, go over to Reddit. That's where I'm way more active. Just as a little tip, in case you're wondering why doesn't he ever answer me, it's because I just, there's a way better conversation happening over on Discord. That's going to do it for today's video. Let me know on Discord if you have these new Pokemon, if you like the new Pokemon. And are you running them? Are you running Mewtwo? Let me know. That's it for now. So until next time.